Hi guys. A lot of you have been asking me how I make my own homemade ink sprays. Um, the ones I've been using a lot in my tutorials lately. So I thought I would show you all really quick. I, I've already got all of the main colors mixed up in these big bottles. So I thought I would just tell you how much I put in, into each one of these and then show you how I'm going to make smaller bottles like this one. Like this little small bottle. First thing you need is Bombay ink. You can get them at any art supply store. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. They're reasonably affordable considering how much you get in uh, in a bottle. There is one full ounce. So there's an ounce of ink here and you only use a little bit. And this spray is so easy. Just take, oh, the bottles I use. I get mine at Hobby Lobby and here's the smaller size. And then there's the larger size which is 150 milliliter. I'll get a pack, I think they come in like 12 of the different varieties of, of Bombay ink and if you use a coupon you can get them really really cheap. They don't come with the squeeze dropper. I happen to have a whole bunch of those um, but they come like this with like a cap. So but it's just a little bit neater and cleaner to, to use the, like a little dropper thing on the end. Um, it, comes, it does come in white and of course it comes in black. Um, and then there's that calligraphy uh, copper gold plate one. Um, purple, red, orange, light green or grass green, aqua green. All right, well, you get the point. So here's my, my container. Aren't they pretty? Of my spray inks. And with the big bottle, is first thing you want to do is a lot of times these, these, um, tubes here are too long and the ink might settle and get caught in them so I just take about a quarter of an inch uh, off at an angle so that it's not touching the bottom um, when it's all screwed down so that there's still some still some room so the ink can settle and not clog up your your sprayer tube thing there okay so all I do is I take a color out of the straight out of the thing I'll shake it up a little bit first and then just get a whole dropper full and put it in there. Now, the more ink you use, obviously, the more potent the color. But I usually go between seven and 10 dropper fulls for this larger size bottle, the 150 milliliter. So uh, you can obviously go more if you want. And then I fill the rest up, like here's a good example. I fill the rest up, you probably can't tell, to about right here with just plain old water. Um, this happens to be bottled water, but uh, it probably came from the tap, probably filled it up. So it's no special water, there's no special ingredient, and that's it. So then before you use it, you just wanna you just wanna shake it up and and you're done. And then when you spray it, let me get something to spray. This is just regular cardstock paper. There's nothing special about this paper. Um, I just wanted to show you that's when it's sprayed onto wet. And then this is sprayed on to dry. There's really not that big a difference. Um, and you can also add water to it after you spray it on to dry and that'll make it, you know, run a little bit more. Pretty. I'm going to mix one up for you because I've been wanting, now I, I know y'all aren't going to believe this, but I've been wanting <laughs> a different purple. <laughs> y'all are really so sick of my purple. And a good way to test out combinations is to use something, squirt a little bit in it, mix it up, and then see what color you come up with. But I think I know what I want. I want in mine. First thing I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's touching the bottom. I'm going to cut the end off. I'm going to go a little bit more because it was really touching the bottom. And double check it. Yeah. So I'm going to use purple. I'm also going to use sepia. You know, the ink actually comes in several different brown shades. Like there's sepia, there's Van Dyke brown. It's kind of more of a reddish um, brown. And then of course my favorite brown brown. So I'm gonna use the sepia because it has more of a grayish, a blackish tone to it. And I wanna kind of make like an eggplanty color, sort of. Um, and then I'm gonna use some white. So I'm gonna start with my purple. And I'm just gonna add one squirt of each for now and then give it a test. And I'll add some water to it before I to 
test it out. I keep wanting to put the lids on so I don't spill it. So one squirt of each color, the purple, the sepia, and the white. And I'm not going to fill it up all the way. I'm just going to fill it up just a little bit. Put the lid back on. I'm going to shake it up. And I'm going to test it. Ooh, that's pretty. Let me show you what the actual purple looks like without anything added to it. So it's gotten a little little bit more eggplanty, but I think it needs more. So I'm gonna next time I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more sepia to it. I think I'll go two more sepias. And I think I might even add another squirt of white. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, now look at that. Now it's like a definitely like a grayish purplish color. Okay, it's getting better. It's getting a little better. Let's see what it looks like when we dry. Okay, look at that. That's a really, really dark compared to that. Even though I added white to it, it's a really, 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 I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so that's the, that's not enough for me. I've got to fill the whole bottle up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to add, I'm going to add the purple. Whoops, camera shut off. Um, I was adding the sepia. I did four of the sepia, four droppers full of the sepia. And I'm going to add one and a half of the white. And then I'm going to add water. The beauty of making your own color like this is that you can always adjust it to whatever you're doing. Sorry, I won't shake it on camera. All right, voila. All right, let me see what, it, let me test it out here. Okay, so there's the nice um, eggplanty purple, and then let me show you once again what it looks like um, just without adding anything to it. And let me dry it up real quick so you can see. Okay, so now can you see the difference there between the one I added the sepia and the white to, and the one I added it didn't have anything to it. It's just the purple. So pretty. Well, let me show you what the green looks like without. Um, just straight, just, just this grass green one, just this one. So let me show you what that looks like real quick up here. And then I'm going to show you what the blue one looks like down here. Like that. And then in the middle there, whoop, there we go. And then in the middle, I'm going to show you what it looks like combined together with some white. All right, I'm going to draw that up real quick. So there's the straight up green, there's the straight up, oops, sorry about the glare. There's the straight up green, the straight up blue, and then the mix with the white in it. You can just mix it. I'm going to wet my page first. You can just mix it straight onto the page. And not even make a, not even make a bottle of it. Of course, it's going to give you a different, a different effect, of course. But if you're wanting the same color and you're doing a project that you're wanting to use that color, this is a great idea to mix it up in a little small bottle like this. But I'd have to tell you, these um, India ink sprays have got to be one of my most favorite art journal media I think I've come across so far. I love it. It's it's a great base, a great, uh, great background thing for your page because it's permanent once it's dried and they mix well with each other. So that's how I do it. That's how I make my, my super cool, well at least I think they're super cool, India ink sprays. 
using my Bombay India inks. So I hope this helped. I hope that you all try to make your own India ink sprays. There's nothing fancy. It's just the India ink, a bottle, and some water. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to subscribe and leave me a comment below. So I guess I will see you next time. Bye.